so powerless, not an equal here. You're so relentless, wanting to be here. I gave you respect, it was a return. My back you reject, it needs the last word. Sick of it, had enough, I'll fight back. When you grow up, time's so wacky, they try with every time. So I eat the try. Win every time. Win every time. So I even try. It's not a boss move when you call and preach. Ready to disprove. You hang up that too. Don't need to argue. Cause I know I'm right. You're a jerk who's rude. I hope you see the light. it, have enough. I'll fight back. When you grow up. Win every time. So I even try. Win every time. So I even try nothing to say when I see your face win every time so I even try win every time win every time Every time, so I eat the try. Win every time. Do you know what that was? The K pop version of Why Even Try? Yes, we decided to do that. Because I love K-pop and I have a very special place in my heart for K-pop and think it's one of the best genres ever. So much talent in K-pop. Hope you enjoyed my little dance. It was fun. Oh, hey, Tumble Annie, how are you? Thank you so much for joining. So I'm pumped for today and I'm really excited for today's theme because it is what? Two, three, Transformation Thursday. Yes. Oh, hey, Ava with 60. Oh my gosh, it's been so long. I've missed you. How are you? Oh, greetings from Guatemala. That's amazing. I love Guatemala. Thank you so much for joining from Guatemala. Um, so basically, it's going to be a really fun t today because not only is it about OMG, you like K-pop? Cool. Yes, I love K-pop. I think it's so fun. Um, so, basically, I'm going to be doing transforming things into songs, doing all types of creative transformations, also talking about, and then also a space transformation. Because as we talked about, we've been doing talking about space every day because why well, even try is a space themed which is really fun and cool but um a big part of that space theme is bettering yourself and being prepared and transforming yourself so you're prepared for all the amazing things to come in life i'm an army oh my gosh i'm an army too I love ARMY. I think ARMY is so good. So we're also going to be talking about OMG, your hat is amazing. Thank you. It's bunny ears. So we'll be talking about, obviously, all types of transformation. But first, I wanted to... So yesterday on my Instagram story, I asked you to ask me some questions. And um, just a little Q&A. But I'm not, so I'm gonna do a Q&A today. 
But instead of just, I don't know, answering the questions like in a normal Q&A song, I'm going to turn your questions into a song and transform them because part of transformation is becoming the person who you want to be and transforming yourself into being able to live a life that you want that will be your ultimate path. And part of my path has always been creativity and trying to make things really fun and really creative and also singing. So let's do it. And a five, six, five, six, seven, eight. Right now, I'm feeling so good. I'm working on transforming myself every day. It's a journey, but it's worth it. And it's leading me on to a road of salvation. And I'm feeling grateful every day. Even thinking about my happiest memories, they all involve creativity and they all involve the power of music because music has so much power to change a mood to make something bad into something good it's so special and i'm so thankful to say that i'm making lots of songs right now and they're not just any types of songs but they're summer songs that i can't wait for you to hear but i am saying this might be my favorite song right now i'm just kidding I like all types of music, from gospel, pop, country, rock, K-pop, country. Really, you can't go wrong, cause there's beauty in every type of music. Yeah, yeah, especially summer music. Cause I'm so excited It's almost summer And maybe I should be shopping For summer clothes But honestly, I never really shop for anything I kinda wear the same thing every day I know it's boring, but it's me and it's kind of just my uniform of some spirit jerseys and some black leggings. Then if I'm gonna wear something else, I'll just throw on a casual dress but always keep it chill cause it doesn't really matter how you look on the outside it's the inside that matters that's the truth unless i'm seeing zach get fraud cause he's my celebrity crush and he just broke up with his girlfriend. O M G.
Gucci. I think he'd be my dream collab. We could sing, rewrite the stars together. Can he be the Troy Bolton to my Gabrielle Montez? I need to stop. I need to stop. This is getting embarrassing. There, did I answer all your questions? <laughs> So if you don't know what I did, it's basically I got all the questions that you have asked me and made them into a song. So, yeah. But now, let's talk. I bet she's a bad singer crush. Zach Efron. Shh. Don't tell anybody. Don't tell a soul. It's our secret. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, okay, so anyways, now I want to talk about a little bit about transforming yourself and how to transform yourself. What? I asked the celebrity crush question. You did. So the first way that I think we go into transforming ourselves is looking at the goal. Who do we want to be? What do you want that transformation to be? Because it's like, yes, you can say, oh, I want to be a better person. Oh, I just want to have more friends. I want to be happy. I don't want to be depressed, anxious. But I really think if we are on a road of self-discovery and on a road of just transforming ourselves for Transformation Thursday, it's good to have a goal and a goal that we're really working towards so that way we can take active steps to get to that goal and make it specific so then a real transformation happens instead of something broad. So for example, your goal could be to go to space and be an astronaut. You know, good, because that's a great goal. That obviously your goal would be you would like do physical stuff. You'd focus on flying, how to deal with the pressure, getting mentally tough, stuff like that, etc. Or obviously you could say your goal is for me, like personally, my goal is to really glorify God and to live with God and really take my walk with Christ seriously and have Christ be the ultimate center point of my life and completely glorify him in everything I do and to not live a selfish life and to not live a life for me, but instead really just live for God and only God, and then after living for God, serving others, and then putting myself third, because I just, I really want to live a life that is to glorify God, and that is a righteous Christian life, and to spread the gospel, and have a calling, and have a purpose, and do God's will for my life. So for me, that's my transformation and my goal. And once, and because it's so specific, I really feel that um, it's so specific that every day I can do things to transform because it's so specific. So I could say, okay, Obviously, I want to live a Christian, so I need to be forgiving. I need to forgive people. I need to be wise. I need to pray to God for strength. Um, I need to focus on helping somebody else. I need to think, how can I glorify God? I need to focus on what my purpose is. It like things like that. So that it really helps. It, that helps a lot. Um, let's see. I hope you don't mind me asking, but have you been a Christian your whole life, or have you recently become Christian? 
I've been Christian my whole life, but I really feel that my faith has been renewed a lot lately, which has been really exciting. And also, I think walking with God is a journey, and you're always um, getting better, and it's always a journey to be more Christ-like, because the thing about the gospel of Christianity is we're all sinful human beings, and none of us are perfect. We're all going to fail. We're all going to mess up. But a big part of it is about, you know, um, redemption and grace and just keep walking that path every day and trying your best every day to live as Christ-like like as a life as possible, which is so beautiful and so special. And I'm just really excited. And I just love Jesus so much that Jesus has given in me so much fulfillment and so has God and God has made me so and also another thing about transformation that I wanted to talk about was how all of us go through really rough times in life because just rough times and hard times are totally a part of life um, but how every single negative thing in your life especially with my experience with Jesus could be turned into a positive, which is so amazing. And like, and God just gives you the power to be able to be happy in every circumstance and find joy and find positivity in every single circumstance. Even circumstances that seem terrible because God will use every single thing in your life, even things that are tragic tragedies to make you stronger and to make you better and to use you as and to use you for your purpose because we all have a purpose to do things and there's so many times where if we didn't go through those rough times that we wouldn't be able to relate to certain people or we wouldn't be able to you know like have the strength that we have or be the people who God wants us to be so and be as strong so it's really really beautiful and God could get you through anything so like I feel so like just because of my transformation and because of that being my focus and not focusing on myself but focusing on other people and focusing on glorify God I've honestly been the happiest that I've ever been in my whole entire life, even while going through difficult things, because I know God is putting me through difficult situations for a reason to make me stronger and to build me up. And so if you're going through a difficult time, just know that God will use even your trage tragedy to make you stronger. And God will turn that negative into a positive and you just got to believe and you're gonna get through the hard time and it's gonna get better and we're all gonna get through it together and just love each other and it's gonna be amazing and it's very exciting and so that's a little transformation Thursday talk and now I thought I'd do something else a little fun which is singing your comments right now in the comment section and turning them into the song. So let's go. Five, six, seven, eight. You're so wise. You're so beautiful. Jesus loves you. God loves you. Preach love and beautiful. Hi, I love you. Oh, love. Update on the lunch table. Time, no friend situation. I'm fine. 
decided to move school. By the way, that's amazing. I'm so excited for you. That makes me so happy. And I'm so excited that you have the opportunity to move schools. And I think it's going to be a great new fresh start for you. So I'm really excited for you. Hi, I'm Barbie. Amen. I love you. Say it, girl. God bless you. That was a little fun. I thought we would just have a little fun with that one. But anyways, when I asked you what you wanted me to mash up, somebody asked me to do a Cardi B mashup. So I thought that I would mash up. Are you ready? Why even try with I like it? This could go really well. Or this could go really bad. But I'm going to hope it goes well. Because we don't have another option. So. Yeah. Let's do it. in store for you have an awesome day thank you so much that is so sweet you too jesus has an amazing purpose for your life and i think you're so sweet it's so amazing and have the best future in front of you and i could 
feel the Holy Spirit working in you, and I love you. Of um, who sings Why the Try? I do! Um, Why the Try is my song. It's um, the link of my TikTok bio if you want to check it out. But yeah, it's Why the Try by Caroline, which is really fun. By the way, long time no see. Yeah, RJ, I totally missed you. Thank you for joining. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing really well. That was for the song. Oh, sorry, I missed the song. Um, yeah, that was fun. I really liked doing the song. I thought it was really fun. And then I thought that we would trans, what is Why of a Try about? Um, basically, Why of a Try is about how I was at this relationship with this person who like did not treat me like an equal and was really mean to me and then had this phone call and told me how like I wasn't good enough for them and how like you know like just really tried to destroy my confidence and I was really sad because I'd spent a lot of time really just wanting their validation and wanting their approval but then I finally realized that like no matter what I did, I wasn't going to get their approval. I wasn't going to get their satisfaction because they didn't accept me as a human being. And so I realized that's so dumb to keep wanting their approval. So instead, what I was going to do was just not care what they think and live my life and know that in my heart that I was living life in the right way and that I was proud of who I am and proud of the way that I was living my life and proud of who I was as a person, who I wanted to be. And so I wasn't even going to justify myself to them because I felt like, you know what, I don't owe them a response or owe them a justification for how or why I'm living my life because I'm confident in myself. and the path I'm choosing my life and I know I'm happy and I know that I'm good enough and worthy and that's all that matters and I know we're all equal and I know he's not better than me and I'm not better than him and so why even justify it and instead I'm just going to keep on my path transforming myself and living my life in the best way I can which really is where I'm at today, and I think it's such a beautiful message, which is why I'm really passionate about that song. And it's about like just not even responding to people, because you don't owe people a response, you know? Just live life the way you want to on your path, and whatever path is right for you in your life, because the beautiful thing is God has a special and unique path for all of us. And they're all different, but none of them are better or worse than the other. They're just our own paths for our own purpose and our own gifts. And they're all amazing. Um, I've heard music on, I have your music on my playlist. You do? Thank you, that means the world to me. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you. Jesus loves you all. Thank you. Jesus loves you too. That's so sweet. I really, really appreciate it. I really appreciate it. Um, by the way, I am so good. Oh, I'm so happy that you're doing good. Cats or dogs? Honestly, it really, it really depends. I could go either way, um, maybe cats, but both are cool, so, yeah. And then let's, oh my gosh, I have a playlist just of your music and I listen to it on repeat. Thank you, that is like the sweetest thing ever. Thank you, thank you. I really appreciate your support. I appreciate your support so much. Like your support, it just really just anybody who will listen to the songs, to any of my music, just for one second, it just give it a second of their time honestly means the world to me because writing songs is my biggest passion in life and it means the world to me. And so just 
thank you so much for your support because it really helps me to continue to do what I do and continue to make music, which just makes me the happiest person in the whole entire world. And just like, thank you. I really, really appreciate it. I love you too, Tula underscore. Oh, I love you too, Dave dot morale. Um, I love you so much. I love you so much. Oh, you're so sweet. Thank you, thank you. Um, my favorite one by you is I know better. Thank you, I'm so happy you like that song. I love that song. Ooh, do you want me to sing it? Ooh, what I was gonna do, I was gonna do a song where I did it from another person's point of view. You listen to my type every day? That is so sweet, thank you. I'm pretty sure why I even tried. Is number one on my on repeat playlist? Oh my gosh, thank you, Nancy James. Thank you for listening, thank you for listening. That means the world to me. Ooh, what a, that's my fave. Oh, thank you for listening. But just for you, um, Peyton, I'm gonna sing I Know Better from the guy's point of view. Are you ready? You've been saying you're confused, but I'm just living life like how I do. just one of many but I made that clear so why are you mad at me I no I no better I no better I no better than leading you on I no better I no better I no better than leading you on I never gave you any signs that we were exclusive. No, not this time, cause I know better. I know better. I know better than leading you on. I, I know better. I, I know better. I, I know better. No, no. I, I know better. I, I know better, I, I know better, no, no. We were never together. We weren't exclusive, didn't give you. My boyfriend, girlfriend talk. So please don't take it personally. Cause I know better, I know better. I know better than leading you on. I know better. I know better. I know better than leading you on. That was interesting. <laughs> that was fun. Be vibing to why I even tried the car on the way to my holiday to Port Stewart. Oh my gosh, that's so fun. And by the way, happy holiday. I hope you have like a really fun holiday you deserve it um, i'm trying to get your song why even try out the radio and i know better because you deserve it oh my gosh thank you so much for all the support today the kindness today on this live is so sweet oh hi izzy dot poland how are you and hi ella thank you for joining thank you so much for joining hope you're having a wonderful thursday and having a great day and thank you for being so so sweet um, so anyways, I thought I would end with a little, ooh, Defying Gravity. Let's do it. I'm through accepting limits, cause someone says that so. And if I cannot change, till I try, I'll never know. Too long I've been afraid of losing love. I guess I've lost. Well, if it's love, it comes at much too high a cost. I think I'll try to find gravity. Kiss me goodbye. I'm defying. 
And yes, I'd love to see you happy birthday. I'm going to see you happy birthday, Izzy Poland. Um, so first of all, happy birthday. I hope you have an amazing day. You deserve to have the best day ever. And thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate it. And hope you have an absolutely beautiful day. Ready? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Izzy. Happy birthday to you. And many more. Hope you have the best birthday ever and get to do something that you love and just have all types of fun. But anyways, I thought I would end with a little space theme song. A space fashion. Please don't see. Did you get nervous when you first started making music? Um, it was definitely a journey. It took a while. But I was a little nervous to put out my first original because I just didn't know what people would think. But I was so excited and so ready for it because I just, I was like, I was so eager to be able to put my music out there because I was just, I wanted it to be out there so bad. And I just wanted to have the opportunity to make more music. And I knew that the only way I would have the opportunity to make more music was by putting it out, you know? Please don't see. Boy caught up in dreams and fantasy. Please see me reaching out for someone I can't see. Let's stay here, but are we in God? Tell us the reason you've just wasted on the young. It's hunting season and the lambs are on the run. Searching for meaning, but are we all lost ones trying to
Really? Jesus loves you? Oh, thank you. Jesus loves you, too. You're amazing. Um, thank you so much for an amazing live stream. I hope you enjoyed it. And I feel like we had a great Transformation Thursday today. So thank you. And I feel like we're all transforming into better, healthier, more amazing, positive versions of ourselves. And I know that we are going to keep transforming and getting better every single day. I love you so much. Have a great, amazing, positive day. You deserve it and praying for all of you and wishing you so much love. Love you. Bye. Keep God in your heart, of course. God is always my number one priority. I love you and I know that I'll always be okay because I have God and it's so beautiful. I love you. Bye.